To find a German delegation here at Nampo is a very unusual thing. We were quite surprised. So what brought you guys here? No, we are always interested in the South African market. And that is the reason why we wanted to make our own picture of the South African market. Are you farmers? Uh, no, we're not farmers. We're Dutch uh, machine uh, manufacturers. And also this trip where we're going now, where we're on, uh, for South Africa and Zambia, was organized by the German Machine Association, Machine Manufacturers Association. And that was the reason why we're here. Yeah, tell me, why is it South Africa so interesting at the moment to Germany? I, I can't understand it. Brazil to go to, and there's many <laughs> other countries. Why South Africa? No, I think uh, South Africa in the African market is the most important country for the agricultural business, and therefore we as uh, German uh, machinery uh, uh, manufacturers are very uh, interested here in the activities in this market, and uh, most of us are already very active in this market. So you're currently selling equipment to South Africa, are you? So we from Echo, we, uh, Massive Ferg is one of our key brands. We are selling since more than 50 years in Africa. And South Africa is ah, our largest market in Africa. I yeah, understand so. you're protecting yeah. your interests. <laughs> no, we are increasing them. Increasing them. <laughs> Have you increased South No, I can't say it so. I, for me, it's, it's the beginning now. It's your first trip? It's my first trip for yeah. business, yeah, but... Uh, it's quite interesting. I had a lot of oh, good uh, discussions this afternoon, and uh, so it will. I come back. It will. It, it will be sure. And how much business do you actually do with South Africa? Well, in this perspective, you can see it the same as my colleague from Echo said. I'm from class of uh, Germany, and we also do uh, for over years uh, business here in South Africa. And it's really, especially South Africa. I mean, you look at the complete continent of Africa. It's, it's, the, it's the biggest market of all. Well, to, to be specific about equipment, what kind of equipment are we talking about? Yeah, we as Amazon Werke, we export to South Africa implements and we are represented here by Falcon. And Falcon is a very good brand as far as I've heard and they have a very good reputation and recognition here. And we are very proud that Falcon is representing us and we are, we are selling here seeding equipment, tillage equipment and, uh, and sprayers. Do you see what you are selling growing in this country? Yes, uh, definitely. So, uh, Kverner Group sells the brands Kverner, Vicon, and Galliani here into this country. So, I mean, all kind of equipment uh, which is uh, put on the tractors. So, uh, we see an increasing demand for our products. But German uh, machinery and German technology is always considered to be one of the finest in the world. Who's your biggest competition apart from the Dutch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Dutch. No, Dutch. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no I skipped several competitors, and especially yeah, we, we just talked about that. So uh, Klaas and Echo are, are, are of course, competi competition uh, of each other. And, yeah. and, uh, and we have um, uh, the product range where you talked about that. Uh, question, what do we have in the market? And it also counts for Echo. Oh yeah, we have the tractors, you have the combines, you have the, the balers, and uh, you have to think about those products. Isn't one of your biggest competitors, must surely be the big boys from America, the John Deere's? We are from America. Echo is from America. You but sound like John an American. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm German. <laughs> but the company is uh, yeah. US based, um, but global, and uh, we have global brands. But uh, like, for class, John Deere, we know, is, is a big player in the market. It, it is an enormous player. Of course, it's really? an enormous player. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and can you see yourself taking any of the market share away from John Deere? Uh, 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 that's the reason why we are here. We, at least we can try. <laughs> yeah. No, that's but right. it's, it's yeah. a, that's our motto. How have you found it so far, or generally? I mean, have you found it a, a success story by coming here? Was so it I'm, worth it? So I, I was already last year in Cape Town for the World Economic Forum on, on Africa. And so it's always worth it to come to South Africa. And it's also so, the one thing is to, as you said, to protect the market, to see what is going on. But the other thing is to create a market as well. So not only for South Africa, but for the whole region. So around Mozambique, Angola, Botswana, interesting yeah. countries around. And this okay. is why we are here as well. Yeah. So exactly. would you and you have to talk to your end customer, and they are here. So yeah. You have to yeah. talk yeah. to the bigger commercial, not only commercial, but the bigger farmers who are using your product, but who also look at, at five years and, uh, up front and they say, okay, we well, want to have, be there in five years' time. Then what kind of products do I need to reach that? If we look at South Africa as being the bottom part of Southern Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, 
Are we the stepping stone, the gateway to the rest of Africa? No, that is what, uh, yes, that is what we consider as a stepping stone to sub Sahara. Yes. Yeah, you, you yeah so? I can confirm it. A big stepping stone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you for, for us, we are more. We see you more as a European market because it's very close to the European market yeah. and it's an important market. But it's, for us, it's not the step. It's South Africa. Sub Saharan Africa is for us is different. Yeah, it it's a different market. Yeah. And why, we want why? to go into. Why? Why is it a different market? Because the agriculture is not developed as it's in South Africa. So here you really have commercial farming and it's really developed. So yeah. it's a different market. It's really developed. This you won't find in, uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa. This is what we want to create. And yeah, that, that's actually the last part. That is absolutely right. What he's saying is that the South Africa is the established market, and the rest is not there yet. And for some countries it will take a year. For some countries it will take ten years. But um, uh, how it is now in South Africa, we would like to be that uh, for all countries. Yeah. Just like yeah. to ask you. Yes, yeah, sorry, you wanted to yeah, say something. But we have realized that there are a lot of uh, customers and farmers are also coming from the neighborhood countries. And therefore, this is a step stone to South Africa, uh, to South Africa. The South one question I want to ask you before, before I let you go, if we look at what is happening in the rest of the world, larger farms are becoming more cost effective because the capital of buying of equipment is so much, yet this part of the world needs to create small farmers. Can you help with capital equipment on a cost effective basis? So if you just take one model, so you have a nucleus farm, which is normally a commercial farm, and you have smallholders around who benefit from the system, from the um, equipment, but also from the buying power of this nucleus farm, you can easily build these models around the nucleus farm. And then you have the smallholders who work with contract farming, who really benefit from the output market. And this is something we want to create, especially for Sub-Saharan Africa. I see you agree with that. Yeah, of course, when the, when the small farmers, in short, when they are more cooperating with each other, so that it's easier for them to buy those bigger machinery to, 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 to work on their land, you have the same result as the one bigger farm. Yeah.